the reason why it's ultimately a losing game for you with a narcissist is because they prey off of you not knowing about narcissistic personality disorder but then find you pathetic when you don't catch on to what they're doing. It's a paradox and it is a one-way ticket to heartbreak because during the love bombing phase when they're idolizing you, this is why they're trying to trap you into a long-term commitment, like having a baby, moving in together, saying I love you within the first few weeks. They're trying to get you hooked to them why? Because they can't have you seen the real them, what's underneath the mask. They know that if you see that, you will want to run far away from it. And then once they know that you're trauma bonded to them, they start to treat you worse and worse. And the more that you try to do for them, the more you try to love them, the more that they resent you for it. They are starting to look elsewhere. They're starting to think they can do better than you. And they think to themselves, wow, I'm unworthy of love. I'm a bad person. This person, for some reason, can't see that. How many more times are they going to listen to my lies? How many more times are they going to come back, even though they say that if I call them that name, if I do that thing, they'll stop talking to me? They keep having another go around of this. How pathetic of them. To be honest with you, I consider this evil. It's like emotional torture. There is no getting close to them. There is no building intimacy with them. They don't want you to get close to them. They think that they're unworthy of love. And you can't show them, love them, talk them out of that. Because the more nice things you do for them, the more suspicious you are. Why is she bringing me lunch to work? Why is he bringing me flowers? What am I going to have to do to repay this? Are they being nice to me because they think that I'm a joke? This person can't possibly love me. I'm unlovable. They must have some ulterior motive because I always do. And in a narcissist's mind, it's always like, what are they doing for me? What are they doing for me? What can I take? What can I take? What can I take, 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 take? That's why you are external supply. You are supplying them with your money, your time, your energy. And in turn, they are forming an identity around using you. That's why the relationship is so draining and so unsustainable. This is not love. This is an abusive, toxic relationship and you have got to get out and go no contact. And if you need help making an escape plan to do that, you can email me for one-on-one -on -one remote narcissistic abuse recovery coaching. My email's in my bio.